Yo, what is up guys, it is Maso2010 here, and today we have probably the weirdest death battle I've seen this so far. Actually, no, it's not. I think Chuck Norris and that game console guy is the weirdest, but this is probably the second weirdest. Iron Fist versus Poe. Iron Fist versus Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> I'm going to say Poe. I'm saying Poe going in. Danny Rand, Marvel's immortal Iron Fist. And boom! The chosen Kung Fu Panda! Oh my the god. The way of Kung Fu can be full of hardship, but these two unlikely masters have shown that with the right training and determination, anyone can walk the path of the Dragon Warrior. He's whiz and I'm Oh my god. And Please be good animation. Their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win. Ah, oh, no, it's two day. Ah, oh, it's fine. I was just wishful thinking. Every ten years, in the mountains of Tibet, the mystical lost city of Kunlun will appear. Kung Lun. Never guarded by a legendary warrior, the Iron Fist. Naturally, one of the Iron Fist's former apprentices, Wendell Rand, thought, I should really bring my wife and kid to visit the Kung Fu Super City. Best family vacation ever. But not so naturally, Wendell's business partner tagged along, Harold Micha who, surprise, had less than noble intentions. So Wendell was sent off a cliff, and his son Danny won the tragic backstory lottery when his mom died protecting him from wolves. Never trust a herald, folks. Danny Jeez. survived and was adopted by the people of Kun Moon. Within the city's walls, he spent his formative years tirelessly training in pursuit of revenge. He's mastered judo, muay thai, aikido, pressure points, pretty much every cool fighting style around. He also gained a weird habit of shouting, Heart of the Dragon, whenever he's surprised. <laughs> oh my god. I know that guy's got at least like six silk dragon shirts in his closet. That would be interesting foreshadowing. For when Danny turned 19, he had the chance to become the next Iron Fist. But he had to overcome one final challenge, the immortal dragon, Shu Lao. And Ooh. like a badass, Danny walked up to Shu Lao's front door. Then, get this, bear hugged the dragon until it fell unconscious. Netting down what? a sweet chest tattoo and the chance to plunge his hands what? deep into the dragon's boomstick. What? I was gonna say the creepy cauldron holding its heart. What are you thinking? Uh, this act infused Chu Lao's chi with Danny's, making him the newest, the immortal Iron Fist. With his newfound power, Iron Fist did what any vengeful orphan would, and left Kun Lun to track down the bastard who killed his parents. However, when he found Harold, all the Iron Fist saw was a broken man. So he spared him, casting aside his past anguish huh. to come a hero. Oh great, another lesson about how revenge is bad and all that crap. Wiz, when I find those chickens that did in my grandpappy, make sure I finish the job. Boomstick! Oh, on my calendar. Thanks to his friend, Luke Cage, Iron Fist was able to reconnect with the real world and co-found a team, the Heroes for Hire. And when he wasn't super the hero, defenders, right? Iron Fist was actually a pretty good dude who used his money to start a soup kitchen because he's yet another superhero who is secretly a billionaire by inheritance. Together, the Heroes for Hire fought many villains, like Incinerator, Master Khan, and the White Man. Hell yeah! Oh. Down with the establishment! <laughs> okay. No, I, I mean he fought a mob boss actually named White Man. Well, Whitey better watch out, because I oh, this God. isn't just a fancy title. Danny can harden his fist on impact, hypnotize his foes, accelerate his healing, make close-range Kamehameha kabooms, and even a giant energy dragon. Look at it! Many of these chi powers were learned through the aptly named Book of the Iron Fist, a relic that has been held by every past, the Iron Fist. It even lets Danny open portals across dimensions back to Kun Lun. Yeah, that's cool and all, but why does he wear ballet slippers? Yellow dance shoes don't exactly strike fear into the enemy, you know? They're Tai Chi shoes, pretty standard. Anyway, Iron Fist can absorb not just chi, but all manner of natural static boomstick. Electromagnetism. Ah! Oh, so that's why he wears the slippers. Danny can react in a microsecond, punch apart a hammer helicarrier, and has delivered Whoa. strikes comparable to hydrogen bombs. And being the Iron Fist, he is also one of the most martially skilled heroes in all of Marvel. Ah. He can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Boy Scout super soldiers like Captain America and the friendly neighborhood light-dodging Spider-Man. He even defeated the evil demon Mara. No, no, not the ball demon. I'm talking about the bull demon. And after absorbing enough electromagnetic energy, he punched apart this train, surviving the resulting explosion that had enough force to, and I quote, make Hiroshima look like a sparkler. Um, fucking out. Sensitive analogy aside, it's clear Iron Fist's fist 
Glove? P closed hand has some serious power. One time, he took in the chi of all the people of Kunlun to become this rad kung fu skeleton man. Watch out, he's got a bone to pick with crime. Mm -hmm. have to fight an eldritch terminator called The One, who Danny had previously defeated. Wish you really need to work on words better. Anyway, after Iron Fist threw the nameless robot off a cliff, it found Danny Wendy himself and decided, hey, I should really take this guy's head and plop it onto my body. What the f who wrote this? Schrodinger's dad aside, Iron Fist is one of the best Marvel heroes out there. You just and kill Spider-Man? Challenge. He will always be there to keep the balance between Kun Moon and the outside world. To earn the Iron Fist. I'm not to say I've not no used take that from any clips from the Netflix series. That yeah. like they didn't use anything from Netflix. That bit weird. Legend tells. <laughs> ah, pow. And deadly in martial arts that his foes would go blind from overexposure to pure awesomeness. A fighter of unrivaled power, wisdom, and rotundity. This is Zhao Po Ping, a panda born in the Xiao. Valley of Peace. For the longest time, this valley only knew, well, peace. But everything changed when Gary Oldman the Peacock and his army attacked. Lord Shen received a prophecy saying his conquest would be stopped by a warrior of black and white. A panda. So, in a fit of paranoia, Shen decided to genocide every panda in existence, forcing Poe's mom to part with her baby as he moses away in a radish box. Jeez, we got real dark with the sequel, huh? Mm. After some obligatory trauma, Poe was taken in by a literal father goose named Pink. With his expert guidance, Poe trained day and night to be a waiter at a noodle restaurant. Not the hardline warrior life I was expecting. It was Poe's dream to be a martial artist. He idolized all things kung fu, going so far as to make action figures of his heroes, the Furious Five. Yeah, true. <laughs> Nerd. However, he never expected to have the chance to actually explore that dream. Until the day of the dragon ceremony, where Master Uguay would select a chosen one to lead a new era of kung fu as the dragon warrior. And to the shock of everyone, Master Uguay chose him! Talk about a freak accident! There are no accidents, Boomstick. Despite some setbacks, Poe was actually quite gifted. He just needed the right motivation. A carrot on a stick. Food! Or more accurately, a dumpling. Yeah! Next to the Furious Five, Poe experienced the classic Shaolin animal styles, which are actual practice martial arts. Tiger style uses ferocious combos. Monkey style has unpredictable acrobatics. Mantis style uses fast strikes. Viper style implements fluid movements. And Crane style is all about sweeping hits. But none of them suited Poe, so he made his own. You guessed it, Panda style. Which yep. is sort of inspired by the real world dragon style, but mostly based around using his roundness for defense, <laughs> wearing down enemies until he gets an opening. His body can stop just about anything. Falls, pressure point attacks, and even a clunk to the face. When he isn't overwhelming you with his pure fatness, who can launch a Hadouken with a thundering wind hammer? Oh yeah, they had a cutscene, didn't they? Paralyzing shoulder touch, and blind you with the Golden Lotus Clap! Oh god, it's like looking into the sun! But you have to be careful or you could blind yourself with it. What? Why wasn't that at the beginning of the instructions? We never saw Poe do this in the movies! Poe has been in much more than movies. Yeah, that's true. Where he picked up a lot of new powers, such as the hero's chi, a life force passed on to a chosen... I haven't watched this. This shown in power-up lets Poe counter mind control, shoot beams of energy, and make a giant dragon construct that devours pretty much anything. And of course, possessing the hero's chi makes Poe comparable to the previous owners of it. Including the Black Tortoise, who was powerful enough to stop this huge meteor from hitting Earth. Jeez! He defeated this dude who would absorb the collective chi of the greatest fighters across China. Poe's achievements gave him the admiration of his peers, but his journey to becoming a legend wasn't easy. Yeah, big shocker, the orphaned and a dragon warrior raised by a goose in a noodle shop had a bit of an identity crisis. But through it all, Poe proved he can hang with the best of them. He can evade lightning blasts, chuck a hammer into low orbit, and once cleared an entire cloud formation with just the flex of his pinky. This is his signature technique, the Wuxi. Wuxi hole. A move that would be caught in it to the spirit realm. AKA the afterlife. No, really, characters who have canonically died can be found here. And even should Poe be unable to complete the hold, he can always use it on himself to bring his target to the spirit realm with him. But despite the spirit realm being the afterlife and all that, death isn't always permanent. I mean, thanks to Poe's chi mastery, he can travel back home no problem. And eventually, he overcame the tragedy of his past and found his inner peace. 
in this state Very true. Poe has an amazing like amount scene. of focus, enough to catch cannonballs. A trick that proved handy when it came time to defeat that asshole Gary Oldman who <laughs> came up. You show him, Jack Black. I, like, I do like Gary Oldman. Poe. Poe now stands ready to teach the next generation, alongside his original father, who apparently survived, head and all. What a nice ending. After mastering Chi, returning from the spirit realm, and saving all of China, Po has finally realized who he truly is. I am the Dragon Warrior. Get it? Is he the giant dragon? <laughs> okay, come on, Po. All right. I mean, I, I got a feeling I, this is gonna win, but I just want Po to win. I like Po. I just like him more. Like Kung Fu Panda, check out Rooster Teeth's new show, Neon Convening. Let's go. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Wow. That was awesome. You were like, Wah. and then went, stop that booey. Who are you? <laughs> I am the dragon. Ooh. No way! Me too! Do you want a cigar? With you? <laughs> Alright, buddy. Yeah! Tell me what you got. Oh yeah, may the best dragon win! Love it. <laughs> so can the Iron Fist break Poe's giant body? Dumpling! You can use cheat too? Interesting. So cool! <laughs> oh, stairs! <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh, the first movie. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> How about we both stop holding back? <laughs> totally. They're gonna be good friends. <laughs> oh, that tickles! <laughs> kind of like this. Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh, you know this hold. Um, no? Oh, well, uh, you're about to learn it. Hey! Let him say it. Okay, it's time for me. Oh, that's so stupid. Oh. Yeah. Come on, Pope. Feel the power of peace. Yeah. Yes, I can feel the thunder. Part of the dragon. He's still fighting. Spirit of the dragon. Let me power. No way, is that put Oh, I had to pull actually win! That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> he actually won, that's great. So cool! Wait till Master Sifu hears about this! Oh, that was great. KO! Oh, I did not see that coming. I guess. Oh, got his fill of iron, am I right? You sure the panda winning wasn't some fluke accident, though? There are no accidents, Boomstick. I can't believe he won. Iron Fist's superior speed did help him hold out for a time. 
Yeah, Poe could evade lightning while Danny could move in a microsecond and hang with light timers. And while Poe was very skilled, his experience didn't quite stack up to Danny's, who has been training for his life. And that's about where this chubby panda starts taking all the wins. Poe's mastery of chi could counter Danny's hypnosis, and his fat belly stopped any pressure point shenanigans. True. In fact, anything Iron Fist could dish out, Poe could bounce back from. Sometimes literally. Really? Iron Fist punches have been compared to hydrogen bombs, which sometimes cap at 50 megatons. However, yeah. when compared to the not tactfully described exploding train, he could have around 10,000 times the power of the little boy bomb. Putting Iron Fist's maximum potential at 150 megatons of TNT. Really powerful, but Poe had it beat. Poe could clear away this giant cloud formation with just his wooshy finger hold, a technique he mastered before he even knew Chi existed. Well, 870, 837. Him have done far more insane feats. Like the Black Tortoise and that extinction level meteor -y stuff. Something that would require, oh, just a little over 600,000 times more power than the Jeez. Iron Fist insensitivity punch. At first glance, Iron Fist's incredible speed and skill might make this result seem far-fetched. But look at it this way. Poe's entire style is about taking hits from faster opponents until he gets his opening, making this the exact kind of match he would excel in. Not to mention, True. Poe's wooshy finger hold was an instant win, right? Well, kind of. As long as Danny had the Book of the Iron Fist, he could theoretically make a portal out of the spirit realm, assuming Poe didn't eat him first. And remember, after coming to terms with his conflicting emotions and returning from the spirit realm, Poe had gained true mindfulness. Not unlike the path to enlightenment taken to achieve Nirvana. Man, that's some heavy stuff for a cartoon bear voiced yeah. by Jack Black. This sort of implies Poe can move between the mortal realm and the afterlife at will, making it questionable if death by conventional means even matters to him, crazy as it sounds. And anyway, huh. against Poe's overwhelming toughness, counters, and power, Iron Fist wasn't putting him down in the first place. He just didn't have the stomach to bear it. The winner is Poe. All right. Thanks for I'm happy. Death I'm surprised, but I'm happy. Alright, oh, what's next? Uh, good one. Stuff, Please tell me it's a good one. Here, I beg. And you can always pick up some DB merch at store.roosterteeth.com. I can't remember him. Ah, oh, that's not good. Eh. But now this was a good one. I like this one. This was very good. I'm very impressed. I am Poe versus Poe one. That's actually amazing. Yep, okay guys, I am very happy with this. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe Poe won that. That's amazing. Oh god, that's fantastic. Alright then guys. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you want to like anything or also yeah, I can't even tell them. If you want to play anything else or react to anything else, then yeah, put that in the comments down below also. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see ya!